hello everyone this is about our new topic that is estimation of ethanol by potassium dichromate method so today we are discussing about how to estimate the ethanol by using potassium dichromate and this method is titration method so here our aim is to estimate the amount of ethanol in the given sample for this we need some requirements so what are those requirements uh, one gram of potassium dichromate in 450 ml of concentrated h2so4 and then 25% potassium iodide then 1% starch and then 1 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate and next coming to the principle so what is the reaction going on when we are performing this experiment means first ethanol it reacts with potassium dichromate so which is an acid oxidizing agent and will oxidize to acetic acid so this is the first step then potassium dichromate which is remaining in the mixture will reacts with potassium iodide during the incubation period so we will discuss about this uh, incubation period and what are the elements we are adding in the next slide so uh, after the incubation period uh, iodine will be liberated so this iodine what it will do means uh, it will titrate it against sodium thiosulfate and all, as of we all know that whenever we are performing any titration method we will go with the help of an in indicator So indicator it will tells us the end point so that's why here what is the indicator we use in ethanol estimation is uh, starch so we use the starch and here you can observe uh, reaction uh, like potassium dichromate concentrated h2so4 and ethanol will give rise to acetic acid uh, dipotassium sulfate water molecule and dichromium sulfate so this is the reaction and see coming to the pre procedure what we have to do uh, step by step so this is a very important procedure so if we skip at least one step also we will we don't get the correct answer so take different concentration of alcohol so first we have to take test tubes and to the test tubes we need to alcohol we need to add the alcohol at different different uh, concentrations and make the volume of uh, alcohol up to 5 ml with the help of distilled water so now uh, every test tube is having 5 ml uh, of solution and then add 10 ml of potassium dichromate to each test tube so we have uh, added uh, we have prepared potassium dichromate no so that uh, potassium dichromate will be added to each test tube so each test tube will be added with 10 ml then incubate the mixture for 10 minutes at room temperature so we need to incubate the uh, whole mixture up to 10 minutes at room temperature itself and then uh, take a clean uh, conical flask and add 100 ml of distilled water so empty the test tube by adding the mixture to the conical flask so now what we have to do we have to gone for uh, incubation no so after incubation we need to take a conical flask to that conical flask you need to add 100 ml so if you have done it for five test tube means you need to take five conical flasks and each conical flask will be added with 100 ml and that 100 ml conical flasks will be emptied with this test tube whatever the mixture we have done that mixture will be added to all the test uh, conical flasks and then add 4 ml of 25% potassium iodide to the conical flask and then add 2 to 3 drops of starch solution to the conical flask and the solution in the flask will turn into blue color so titrate the flask against to 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate until the blue color disappears so after this you have to note the end point in the burette and calculate the amount of ethanol so here i am showing you an observation table so it will helps you a lot like uh, here we have uh, uh, so here we have this uh, number then ethanol in ml ethanol concentration in mg distilled water in ml potassium dichromate in ml then incubation time then distilled water in ml uh, 25% potassium iodide in ml 1% starch in ml and this is about titration so here you can observe i have taken five test tubes they have named s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 
and above that I have taken a blank and below that I have taken a test sample so blank is not having the ethanol in it so directly we are adding with 5 ml of distilled water because I have told you in the procedure we need to make up to 5 ml and in the first tube I have taken 0.5 ml of ethanol then 1.0 then 1.5 2 2.5 1.5 so each test tube now it is having this much amount of concentration of ethanol in it so here in the test we don't know now we have to know the concentration of ethanol in the test sample now we have to add uh, distilled water until it will uh, goes to 5 ml so for each uh, test tube if it is having 0.5 ml means we need to add 4.5 ml of distilled water then it will make up to 5 ml for example if you see here s4 test tube it is having 2 ml of ethanol and we have to go with addition of five, 3 ml of distilled water so it will go to 5 ml like that and after this we have to add 10 ml of potassium dichromate solution to all the test tubes okay and then we have to incubate all the test tubes at room temperature for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes I already told you in the procedure we need to take conical flasks and add it with 100 ml of distilled water after that our mixture will also be uh, poured into that uh, conical flask individually and then uh, 4 ml of uh, potassium iodide will be added to each conical flask and then 2 to 3 drops of starch solution is also added as an indicator and then titrate the mixture against sodium thiosulfate and note the end point now the titration is done then now we need to know about the results so we need to take uh, a graph paper and plot a graph by taking the concentration of ethanol on x-axis and titration value on y-axis so note the test value and transact the x-axis to know the concentration of the test so this is how how we interpret the result and how we able to know how much of concentration of ethanol is present there in the sample or directly we can take the ethanol also and in the wine sample like that how much of ethanol is there we can able to know so this is an easy method and if we go through this uh, uh, experiment means we will get the result so thank you